Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio and today I'm sharing with you just some uh, jelly printing I did using trash. The uh, One of the groups that I belong to on Facebook is My Life 2017 and the theme for this month is Trash and Make It Pretty. So I wanted to make a collage page which I will show in uh, the day after tomorrow will be the collage page that I made for the album. but. I needed more papers and I thought what a perfect way to use up some of the tools that I make using things that you would throw away and also paper that you would throw away. As you can see on my desk I use 12 by 12 deli paper behind my projects because my craft mats that are underneath there are shiny and they reflect the lights. So I replace those papers often and I just keep them and they they have you know sometimes they have writing on them or scribbling sometimes they have a little bit of overlapping paint but I don't keep them so long that they get completely covered and cool looking like I used to before I made videos I just left my under paper on there until it was so dirty that it started to become really cool looking and then I would change it but since I'm doing the videos I change this paper out constantly so instead of throwing away that deli paper I just save it until I'm going to jelly print. So um, what I'm doing right now on the screen is I'm making a printing plate using a meat tray, a styrofoam meat tray, and I make a design on that using a ball, a ball stylus. You could also use a ballpoint pen. And then um, I like to put some paint on there. And I've done this before, and I will link the video that I made where it worked a little bit better than this. I have some new dilutions paints that I wanted to try out on my gel plate today and it's too wet. This black is too wet and the thing that you need to do is get all that all the excess scraped off and so the paint is down in those little grooves that you've embossed, well actually debossed, into the styrofoam and then the paint sticks down there and it, and when you press it onto the plate it makes a pattern and it did do that but it the paint was still too wet and even though I went away and I washed my little styrofoam design came back it still wasn't dry you need to let it dry on the gel plate until it's dry 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 and then you reactivate it with paint so I'm impatient the dilutions paint wasn't drying, I wasn't waiting long enough, and so it didn't come out as well as it has in the past. Also, I think that I would use a more heavy viscosity paint than the dilutions, and I did actually change it out to white, but you still get the idea. So here I am thinking, okay, this is dry enough, I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> so I put some lime green and then I try to use my yellow, which is completely dried out. Um, the dilution, because it's in such a wide mouth jar, if you're not careful, it dries out. Um, but that one's one of the older ones, not one of the new ones, so I can't really return it or anything. I just have to throw it away. So see, you can, as I go to brayer this, you can see that the black paint, the dilution's black acrylic, is coming up into the paint as I roll. And... Uh, I'm like, well, crap, <laughs> still not working. So I take a ghost print off of it using some white, thinking, okay, I'm going to put some heavier paint on there and pick up the rest of this, and maybe I'll get a good result. But the black paint is still mixing in, and I end up getting this weird lavender color, um, grayish lavender, which is just strange, strange color. <laughs> Completely not what I expected. If I just was patient and I let the stupid stuff dry, but you can get the idea. You get the the debossed pattern onto the plate, and then the paint picks it up off the plate, and it can make some really cool effects. Um, again, I will link up in the iCard the other video that shows you how to do this that turned out a little bit better than this. So then I decided to switch to a more heavy body paint. This is um, some white acrylic inexpensive titanium white and I do the same process Scra putting it on and then scraping off the excess and then pressing it down onto the plate and you can see the pattern there is the flowers 
that I made. And I also am using a 5x7 plate as well to use up a little bit of the excess paint that I do. Of course, still didn't let this dry. Um, yeah, too impatient. I'm just too impatient. I can't stand it. And when I did this previously, the air must have been a lot drier. I do live in the desert, so I usually don't have any problem with things drying um, fairly rapidly. But, uh, yeah, did not dry the way I intended it to. So, anyway, it's a fun thing to do. I suggest you try it with some of your um, old meat trays. Of course, give them a really good wash before you use them because that could be really nasty. I wash them with uh, antibacterial soap before I even do anything with them. But you can do a lot of fun things with them. You can make them into stamps. Basically, that's a gigantic stamp. Um, you can make other ones into, you know, designs like that. So then I try some copper paint just to pick up the, the rest of what's on the plate. Um, this is the PBO copper metallic which is pretty and I do get a little bit of pattern on that that's still left on the plate after a couple other tries so then I'm still wanting to play with this, these dilutions paints I should have been more scientific about this I should have like done some color mixing and used some of these new colors that I picked up like this avocado or olive or whatever it is really cool color actually this these this combination of the teal and the olive I really like which um, I've kind of been doing that on several of my projects that you've seen me do recently using the green gold and the uh, cobalt teal really like that combination I don't know why why I'm so obsessed with it but I'm sure I'll get it over it eventually. So that little swoop thing that you're seeing is what I cut out of a takeout box, um, a Chili's takeout box. It has a circle and then it says Chili's in the middle. Well, I didn't want the Chili's part, so I just cut out the swirl. And then with the excess corners of the takeout box, I um, made some other little things like a heart and kind of a an amoeba looking thing. Still just doing that same thing using the ball stylus to press down into the styrofoam and make kind of like little texture stamp things. And then I thought what was left of the meat tray might make interesting lines. And so I tried to use, to use that to make marks on my jelly plate. And that's a um, plastic fruit cup left over from fruit cups, which uh, makes a rounded square shape, which is kind of interesting. I think that one ends up getting printed over. Um, I, I frequently do multiple layers of printing one over the other over the other to get interesting effects. And some of these um, prints that you will see at the end in the pictures and stuff could use some more layers. Um, I really like to layer things on top of things on top of things. So this is a um, probably a few days ago you might have seen a ATC that I did or no no okay it's coming up in the future you'll see where I use some shrink plastic and that was an excess piece of shrink plastic left over that I had cut into kind of a mask style stencil and then I grabbed one of the um, the leftover packaging uh, cardboard that I had just sitting I, I, ke I keep all those like if I get charms or flowers or something and sometimes they have very interesting backing packaging um, sometimes it's even designed to reuse like the canvas corp ones on the architectures they they give you packaging that's designed to be used again um, you know with nice printing on it so um, that one I just cut up some more little shapes and threw them on the plate then I, I clean, did a cleanup or not a cleanup but like a removal of some of the excess um, since I haven't really used my dilutions paints on the plate before I'm getting too much paint on there um, I should be putting less on there but I'm not paying attention I'm just I'm having fun I'm playing um, you know I'm not thinking too hard I'm not thinking about oh I should mix this color with this color and see what I get uh, I'm not thinking about how much I'm putting on there I'm just opening the bottles and putting some on the plate and just just literally playing having fun so sometimes I have to remove some of the paint 
first before I get anything at all because it's so gloppy and the dilutions paints are very loose so actually I think that I prefer a different more heavy body paint on the jelly plate anyway um, not craft paint because it's too fluid and it dries too quickly for for my Arizona climate um, I think like the student grade Liquitex Basics and this you know cheap acrylic um, the tube paint that's a heavy body is probably my preference but there's so many cool colors and they're so bright in the dilutions that I really wanted to use them so that thing right there the, the thing that I pressed on there to make those small circles is the bubble pack from a pack of buttons what's left over the buttons were you know they go into those little grooves and it made an interesting pattern and then that other one was um, I just ran out of copper cording uh, I've had that for like 10 years and it finally ran out and that's the spool that it was on I thought it made kind of an interesting donut because it had a small hole and a large hole you know a large circle and a small circle um, this is supposed to be a cleanup cleanup print so I put the heavier white acrylic to pick up all the other stuff that's on the plate it's supposed to be what happens and it does pretty well and that's actually a very pretty very very pretty print so then I get out the avocado again I seem to be um, really attracted to that color <laughs> that and teal I don't know it's just I don't know is it brainwashing because you know the color of the year is a nice green color this year um, not as dark as this but in that same color family um, I'm sure that you've seen it pretty much everywhere now I'm using that plate again as kind of a stamp to make a pattern and I put it on over another print I think it would have worked better if I just put it on a plain sheet but I was just messing around uh, kind of discovered that this paint is pretty translucent so it didn't show the way I expected it to on the on top of the other paint you never know until you try the paints whether they're opaque or translucent translucent so I'm kind of getting the clue that I need to use a little bit less paint at this point I didn't put nearly as much as I did on that time that's a new fuchsia color kind of a darker it's darker pink than the bubblegum pink and I think I should have gotten the bubblegum pink and that color together and used them together and I didn't <laughs> but I'll be playing with this more I still have lots of these um, trashy papers left and I just kind of ran out of time I had some place to go and so I needed to be done printing for the day and I also needed to get a video up so that's why you're getting this video <laughs> just kind of uh, been crazy around here so now I'm getting out some of the tools that I've made in the past out of trash that first one I put on there is made out of um, a styrofoam tray and then I hot glued toilet paper rolls that I cut in half and kind of squished them um, they make kind of a, a football shape I guess is what I would call it uh, they're really cool and then this is a water bottle lids that have been glued to a piece of um, meat tray and it makes very even circles and then I also put uh, tape innards of a tape roll over the top there those bigger circles and those those tools the circle tools I just kind of keep on my desk all the time because I like to use them a lot um, to make marks especially on journal pages that time I used the opposite um, the other side of that bubble pack um, blister pack I guess it's called the plastic and it made the opposite instead of putting the circles down I put the opposite of the circles down on my 5x7 plate over there and it also painted the plastic and made the plastic piece look interesting with pink and orange paint on it so I might use it for something <laughs> and I have some other little things that I'm going to use on my page that I've saved um, that one I also used an old old piece of corrugated cardboard that was stuck to a piece of styrofoam as a handle so I suggest you guys 
when you guys find an interesting something that has an interesting shape or an interesting pattern to just save it I know you know we're hoarding everything and now that I'm telling you to hoard trash but it's fun to use it on the plate it's a lot of fun and even just to use it as mark making tools without the jelly plate and just use it you know to to stamp or whatever probably my very favorite one is a, a thick tube a thick inside of a paper roll or something that's um, it's hefty it's in fact there it is right there I'm just about using it oh, yeah I just used it just now <laughs> that's my favorite one that's the top of a play play-doh container that bright green thing it makes an interesting shape so yeah save the stuff if you if you see it and it has an interesting pattern um, shelf liner is interesting bubble wrap is interesting the bags from potatoes make really interesting prints like you know the net the netting like from oranges or potatoes and stuff that you can get from the store makes interesting patterns this one is another cleanup um, using the Titan buff color to pick up the other paint that's now stuck to the plate and I'd made this little heart out of one of the corners of the Chili's box. So I have more styrofoam plates to play with that I have been hoarding. And um, I will be making some more prints. I don't know if I'll film it or not, but I'll definitely be using the ones that you see today. Um, day after tomorrow will be my My Life 2017 page. And you'll see a lot of these prints that I made today on that video so look out for that on uh, Wednesday so if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like leave me a comment so I know you were here subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to share and that's it for me thanks bye bye